I've always been interested in 3D modeling stylized character with hand painted textures. I'm going to walk you through the process developing Zero Two from Darling and the Franks. Now this 3D model is inspired by this awesome artist and their superb work, so make sure to check out their art station and all their socials. I've taken the liberty with the design a bit, but I first start with blocking out the head shape and the neck. Make sure to leave the neck at an angle for a natural look. Then moving to create guides for the eyes, nose, and mouth, making sure to leave adequate room for adjustment. So the great thing about sculpting is that you can easily mold things like clay, moving things, and making things quicker than you can with rigid polygons. After refining the face and eye shape, I block out the hair, giving it a simple shape to give me an idea for how to start. Then I block out the rest of the model with a coat, collar, neck armor, belt loops, and band.
And with that, I finally get started on the actual hair. For the hair, I used curves and used another circular curve to modify the shape of the hair. Uh, being honest, hair isn't my strong suit. Let me know if I did all right in the comments below. The method I used was focusing on the clumps of hair and making sure it flowed in the right direction first. Then I went back after with styling the hair and strand. For the eyelashes, I used a solidify modifier and a subdivision modifier and used the same techniques on the eyebrows. After completing the main model and the scope, it was time to do retopology on the head so I could texture it and animate it if I choose.
Now all I needed was to clean up the model, finish the UVs, and start texturing. And as expected, texturing was the longest part. So I did my best to develop the shaders for each unique part. Shading the hair was the easiest part and actually the most fun. I made the basis of the shaders a three light system. And shout out to Lightning Boy Studio for helping me out on this one. Thank you guys. Uh, link below uh, for their outstanding video as well. And what gave me the most difficulty was developing the eye shader in the skin. So I had some difficulty getting my hand painted texture to work well with the setup, but eventually I got it working. However, the eye shader was a whole different story. Getting my procedural texture for the eye to work well with a three light shader was quite a challenge that seemed to somehow resolve itself after a good night's sleep and angry staring. But ultimately when it finally did work, it worked.
And so there you have it. That is the complete process of how I developed this 3D model. It was quite a challenge having not really delved into stylized rendering before. It was quite a challenge. It was quite fun though and quite rewarding. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and like the video for more content like this. And if you have some work you guys would like to show, we'd love to uh, highlight your work as well. All right, you guys have a good one.